Hello and welcome to episode 12 of my Fortress Craft Evolved tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on building a spider bot defence and if all goes well maybe making some tier 2 turrets. But I know there's a lot to do in making this spider bot defences so I don't know if I'll get time but we'll see. Um, and I'm probably going to get in a right old mess because it's been a while since I've done this. But anyway, so it all starts with the research. I've researched, I'm just currently doing rolling stock, uh, which is for the mine carts, but I'm uh, just doing it to get that done. Um, I'm not going to start on mine carts for a long while. Um, but anyway, you need to go to your research and you need to do obviously the spider foot. Uh, defences, first the first one then the medium, I haven't done the advanced yet because um, it's uh, there's, there's so much scattered all around. Once you've gone through doing these in the laboratory, because remember that's what you're using for all of the research now, the laboratory, hence these double dots at the end, that's telling you it's the laboratory. Also you need to go ch keep checking this recipes list and you'll notice in here some of the spider bot things appear as well so if we look down here we should see a laser for the spider bot there oh cannon in fact so the spider bot cannon we're going to need that slow firing powerful area damage cannons capable of targeting high and low specializes in medium targets so that's got to be cool so anyway let's research that and just have a look make sure there's nothing else spider bot wise which I don't think there is. There is a ton of research. I just keep on. I just keep doing the research. There's so many things to research. Couldn't possibly hope to do them while recording. So what I'll do is I'm just going to switch now to um, the research just to show you what I've been doing. So okay. That's the available projects that I'm currently got. But if we take a look at what I've been busy doing, so you can see I've got these done down to the base defense. Then automation spider bot, that was the first thing that I did for the spider bot defenses. And you can see here, I've been doing quite a few. Uh, and I've done the basic spider bot defenses, then intermediate. And I will do the advanced, just not yet, because I want to get some defences put in place. I've done the crystal dynamics, so that's all the research I've done so far. Okay, right, so for the spider bot then, let's go down here and see what we need in order to make it. You're going to need lots of different components, which I am slowly gathering. Um, let's go to the manufacturing window. Okay, so here's what we need to make the, the spider bot base. So we're going to need in total 225. Now I don't know if I've got enough materials, so we'll see. Crafting. So if I create 25, it's telling me for each one I'm going to get 25. So let's have a look. How many did that just get? Oh, so it is just 25. Okay. So I'm going to need a load more. Crafting. Alright, that's 50, Crafting. 75, Crafting. 100. Crafting. 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 200. Crafting. 25. There we go. That's right. That's enough of them. And you will notice when I hover over the spider bot base component it says a sing single one of these will be able to upgrade repair and rearm your spider bot build in a 15 times 15 square so that's what we're going to go and do now bear in mind for this spider bot defense you are going to need to feed it coils if i remember correctly so i for that reason and i'm going to do it over the far side of my base over there and you're going to see up here i've been flattening out the ground all around my base I've been doing it for hours and hours and hours, but it's total enjoyment. I love doing it, so no bother to me. Over here, you can see that I've cut out a 15 by 15, so I've just got to now fill it all in with this spider bot base component. Let's find an empty, this one should do, and let's drop them 
in there. Okay, so what you got to do, put each one down. In fact, the easiest way to do this is to simply do like that, and then like that. And in fact, let's carve this all out. say the spider bot is fantastic once you get it. And um, there's two reasons why I've started doing my defences. One, I want to start collecting the alien parts that they drop when they're killed. And two, I want to be able to ramp up my power. Um, but obviously the more power you have, the more aggro you give to the aliens. And as I'm not ready to uh, fight them until I get my defences put in place. It means more and more of the threat producers. And to be honest with you, I just want to start fighting them now. Do it nice and quickly, like so. turned into the uh, spider bot base and okay so we're not finished with this because now what I need to do is I need to add so connect hoppers with charged spider bot power cores to, to power spider bot yeah so you see there in the bottom left spider bot power uh, and it's got zero so that's what we got to do now so what I'm gonna do is drill down So now I need to attach a hopper and I need to fill it with these um, power cores. So let's see what I've got to make. So there's a spider bot blaster. That's the first thing I'm going to need. So yeah, let's make this first. So I'm going to need four Mark one turrets. Crafting, 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 crafting. That gets me the spider bot blaster. Crafting. And let's see. So now I need the power coils. Where am I going to find? There they are. Spider bot core charger. Imbues lithium coils with energy. Feed into the spider bot upgrade and recharge dock via a storage hopper. So I need servo motors. And I'm going to need to automate this because I don't want to keep manually feed them, feeding them. But for now let's make some servo motors. Crafting. And let's have a look. Back, what did I need? Crafting, crafting. I'm going to create just a couple for now. 
Let's drop them in there. Now with this I can't remember whether I have to put it into the hopper or whether I've got to give it to the... Oh, well, it's taken that, so I don't know. Let's go and have a look. Let's see if that's charging it up. Oh, there's the spider bot. So it's obviously getting power. No, it's not. Oh, so it is holding the Spiderbot Blaster. So that bit's done. Okay, and it's just coming now to get charged. So we should see, hopefully, it getting some power. finished let's grab that and what's that opened up yeah there's loads of stuff still to research okay but I want to get this spider bot working weight and resources connect hoppers with charged spider bot power cores to supply spider bot Unless I've not connected it in the right place. So let's try placing it. Directly there, attached. Mind you, it got the blaster, so the hopper was attached correctly. Uh, it's just this I'm not doing correctly. Okay, so what I'll have to do is perhaps come back to that. I'm going to need to look into it. Because I don't want to make a ton of them yet until I know how they properly collect, connect to it. So I'm going to try and figure it out now. So let's have a look. Induce lithium coils of energy. Upgrade and recharge dock. Farmer storage and hopper. So have I got the correct item, the recharge dock? Let's have a look in there. Unless it's something I've still got to unlock with the research. Let's just double check. So it is a recharge and docking bay, so why is it not using? Understand that should be working, but it's obviously not. Yeah, for 
some reason it doesn't want to feed them in. Okay, well, I'm going to skip by the spider box so I can figure out what it is and show what I did, what I need, to, still need to do in the next episode. For this episode, let's put down some tier two turrets, so at least I have got some working defences. Um, they should be found. Where are they? Here, yeah. So I'm not going to use the tier one because they don't have very good range, only 16 meters. The tier twos have 20 meters and they do better damage. So I'm going to need charged PCBs and Mark One turrets. So crafting, 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 crafting. Now I need to make charged PCBs, but that's okay because I should have some already. What's that? That is basic PCBs, primary PCBs, hardened PCBs, charged, that's what we want. So let's grab a load of that. Okay, Mark II turret. Crafting, 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 crafting. Okay, so we got our turrets. And they do require power. So let's now go start placing them. So I've got solar panels now as well. And another reason for me flattening down the ground, not just not there, it wasn't just so I could build out more, it's because when I start getting the attack waves I prefer the wasps to come in low rather than coming from high in the sky. So I've still got to demolish all of this mountain here. Okay, so I'm gonna spread out the turrets around my base and far enough away from it for it to take care of the alien critters. So let's put down a turret here. choice it should shoot for straight through it I'm hoping anyway so if you hover over it it can show you the distance of where it's going to protect and if you press the E key on it it will keep that there in place for you keep the E key pressed and that way you can walk around and see its range so it's pretty much got all this bit covered let's now put one over here put that to the side. That should hopefully still work, yeah. And then that way I can put the turret on the top. Whoop. Like that. Yeah, that's a better way, I think. Okay, so let's check the range on this. They overlap. <laughs> oh, what on earth was that? Oh, 
Oh, look at that. They're touching, nice. Okay, right, that's that bit there. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to go and remove the fret reducers in a minute, and then you can see an attack wave in this episode, hopefully. Let's put another one over here. What's the range on that? So put one over here. to make lots more I think. I want to make sure the whole of my base is surrounded with plenty of turrets. So let's put one here. Go make some more now because I want to get this side protected. And then we can start to agitate the aliens. Okay, so I'm going to need some more of these. Crafting, 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 crafting. Gonna need some more Mark II turrets. So that's let's do five more of these. Crafting, 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 crafting. Okay. I'm gonna need more five more solar panels. So let's do. Can I do twenty-five? Yeah. Crafting. Yeah, there we go. I love the solar panels, so I'm sure I'll be using them. Okay, right. Let's check how we're doing. We're bringing my base with turrets. here by my main uh, central power hub for the ones that get by the outer turrets and it'd be nice actually to put it on top of these crates in 
fact I should have four here, one each side. You can never have enough turrets, that's what I say. produce loads of them coils and constantly feed them into it. Uh, I'll suss it out. Right, okay, let's see if I've got enough turrets. The best way to check, I guess, is to initiate an attack wave. So let's remove my threat reducers. threat should climb. I've still got 600 so I've got to find them now. Where I've placed them. Basically they're everywhere. So I don't think there's any on top here. No. So they must be down below. Oh wait a minute, did I put some by these?
Oh, there's the timer. Right, so I've got the turrets down. Um, I think I should have ripped up enough of the fret reducers for the aliens to get annoyed and start attacking. need to do some research. Okay, in the next episode I'll start recording when an attack wave is approaching my base and also I will figure out what I've done wrong with this ball, what I haven't done yet with the spider bot to get it working. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.